Hey everyone, welcome back. So last video, we talked about how to initiate this Python notebook environment on your Google Drive. So in this video, we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper to use a couple of lines of Python code to acquire data from UC Urban Machine Learning Repository website. For those of you who are curious, the website I'll be using is this data set called the IRIS data set. This is a very famous data set. It's one of the classic data set in the field of biology. And in this case, there are 150 instances with four features. The task is, of course, classification in a sense that we're talking about the features of plants, specifically flowers. And the goal is to use these features to classify the flowers into different categories. So you can read about this and the initiation of the data is of course Fisher back in 1936. And this is one of the earliest known data sets used in classification methods. And the Python code I'll be using is on the right-hand side, you see this import in Python button here, you'll click on it, that will give you the Python code. So let's go back to our code lab and let's start by installing the package. So we say pip install UCI ML repo. So now that this is done, I need to import the packages. So I'm gonna say from UCI ML repo, import fetch UCI repo. This line of code gives me this function called a fetch UCI repo. Of course, I'm going to use that in the next line. So I'm gonna say fetch UCI repo, and the ID of that data set I'll be using is 53. So that gives me the data, but I need to assign data somewhere, right? So I need to say iris equal to that line of code. And now that I'm gonna run it, everything is going to be saved in this iris object. So to do machine learning, we need features and we need target. So everything is saved in iris. Now the next job to do is to get the X and Y, which are the features and the target, out of this iris object that we just loaded. So we're going to say x equal to iris data features and y equals to iris data targets. And I run these two lines of code. And now you can see if I display x, I have this nice table that is essentially 150 rows and four columns. Now this table have all of the features about these flowers collected in this data set. These are the features that I can use to learn. And of course, let me show you guys the Y as well. So next line of code, you can print out Y. And as you can see, Y are different classes, different categories of flowers. And it's just one column and it should have 150 rows. And this number should be able to match this 150 rows in the previous data frame. So. That is all you need to do to set up your machine learning task. And this is essentially ready for you to build any kinds of models that you prefer. The last thing I wanna show you is the metadata. Uh, you can say print iris metadata, and it will give you a couple of informations. For example, that's the ID, that's the name, it's called iris dataset. And here you have this nice URL, you can click on it and you can read more about it. And of course, you can also print out the variables. So you say print iris variables, and this gives you all of the information that you have. Uh, for example, sepal length, that's one of the variable name. A uh, feature here means that it's in the X data frame. That is the feature that you are allowed to train your model on. And same with these three features. Uh, the last row here, you say target. And this target is the variable that you want to predict. So the name of the game here is to build some sort of model to use the first four columns to predict the last column. So there you go. Hopefully this gets you set up to load your data into your Python environment. And I'll see you in the next video.